In this video tutorial, we are going to graph this given quadratic equation without using a calculator. So before we get started, I want to go over a couple of things. So the very first thing I want to tell you is that thing. Whenever you see this f of x, f of x is same as y. Always remember, f of x is same as y. So the number second thing I want you to just keep in your mind that this equation, this quadratic equation is in a standard form. So we will be dealing with standard form this time. So you might be wondering what is the standard form? Standard form is of this form, y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This form is called standard form. And finally, these kind of quadratic equations are also called parabolas. So parabola is of this kind of shape, okay? If it opens up, it looks like this kind of shape, okay? It is a, this kind of graph. And if it opens down, it looks like a, this kind of graph. We're going to go over step by step process. So let's see what happens. So in the very first step, uh, we have this uh, quadratic equation in a standard form. Let's find out what is our A, B and C. In this case, this is our A, this is our B and this is our what? C. So A equals to how much? to b equals to negative 4 and c equals to negative 1. So the very first step is asking this graph which is also called parabola does it open up or opens down. So always check at your a. If a is c over here is your leading coefficient is positive then it's going to open up. So the very first thing I want to make sure that this opens up. That means this is going to look like this kind of graph. In the second step, we want to find x value. So what is the x value is going to be this one over here. This is the formula you have to put down x equals to minus b over what? 2a. So in our case, b is negative 4, a is 2. So that's going to give us how much? So that means it's going to be x equal to minus and b is negative 4 divided by 2 times a is 2. So negative and negative become positive 4 over 4 that is equal to one. So that means thus our x value turns out to be one. In step number three, we want to find y value. So what we're going to do is look at your original equation. We have y equals to 2x squared. So wherever you see x, you replace it by this one that we found out second step. So this, when we plug it in, x equal to one, so y equals to how much? Two times one square minus four times one minus one in our original, original equation. So this is going to become two times one squared is simply one minus four times one is four and then negative one. So that's going to give you how much? Two minus four minus one. So that's going to give you how much? Negative three. So that's that means so your y values turns out to be what? Negative three. In step four, now we want to find the vertex. So vertex, always remember, vertex is simply your x and y values are called vertex. So in this case, in our case, we already figured out x value and y value. That's you just going to be, so our vertex is going to be a simply what? 
1 comma negative 3 so that is our vertex in step 5 we want to figure out the axis of symmetry or we simply call it AOS exosymmetry so is simply always remember exosymmetry is AOS is always you have something x equal to some value so that is your exosymmetry in our case then it's going to be simply whatever we got in step 2 this x value that's going to be our exosymmetry so x equal to 1 is our axis of symmetry in step 6 we want to figure out y intercept that means the point on y axis always remember for a point on y axis or y intercept x is always equal to 0 so we say put x equal to 0 so then in our original equation what was that one which is y equals to 2x square minus 4x minus 1 so wherever you see x replaced by 0 so this is going to become how much 2 times 0 square minus 4 times 0 minus 1 so that's going to be how much 0 times 2 is 0 minus 0 minus 1 so that means simply y equals to how much negative 1 so that is our y intercept in step 7 we want to figure out x intercept as you recall that to find x intercept we always put y equal to how much we put y equal to 0 so then if y equal to 0 our original equation which is what y equal to 2x square minus 4x minus 1 wherever you see y this y becomes what 0 so then we got what so we ended up with what quadratic equation 2x square minus 4x minus 1 we set it equal to what 0 so now we have no option but to use a quadratic formula so what is the quadratic formula quadratic formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac over 2a so let's go ahead and solve using the quadratic formula in our case a equals to what 2 b equals to negative 4 c equals to negative 1 let's plug it in in our quadratic formula to figure out x values so x equal to minus and negative 4 b is negative 4 plus minus b square is going to be a negative 4 square minus 4 times a is 2 negative 1 everything is divisible by 2 times 2 so let's go ahead and simplify that thing so x equal to what 4 plus or minus 16 plus 8 divided by 4 let's simplify 4 plus or minus square root of 24 divided by 4 so that could be what happens so this could be written as 4 plus or minus the square root of 24 is approximately equal to 4.9 divided by 4 so we got x equal to this thing now what we're going to do is so we're going to split them up right now along these x this positive sign and negative sign so what's going to happen so then what we're going to get we are going to get this way let's go use this one over here we got 4 plus 4.9 divided by 4 and the other way is 4 minus 4.9 
divided by 4. So that's going to give you how much? 8.9 divided by 4. That is going to give you how much? That's going to give us 2.23, almost approximately. So one of our x value is this one. Here, what is going to be this one over here? This is negative 0 0.9 divided by 4. So x is going to be negative 0 0.23. So these are our two x-intercepts. Now in our final step, we're going to graph this parabola. So in the previous steps, we figured out our axis of symmetry was what? x equal to 1, vertex, x-intercept, and y-intercept. Let's put everything together on this xy Cartesian plane. Okay, so the very first thing we are look, looking for what x is symmetry x equal to 1. So x equal to 1 is right up here. So this is this is gonna be our x is of so this started line, okay. So this is going to be our axis of symmetry is going to be how much? x equal to 1. So this is x equal to 1 right up here. So the next thing is we want to find out our vertex, which is 1 comma negative 3. 1 comma negative 3 is, this is our vertex. 1 comma negative 3, which is our vertex and the next step is we need to figure out what are our x intercept which is negative 2 3 so that's what we're going to do right now so negative 0 0.23 is going to be somewhere here close to the neg quarter okay so this is going to be negative 0 0.23 and on this side is 2.23 is going to be right up here which is 2.23. So now, finally, we have y-intercept, which is what? Negative 1. You can see that one. y-intercept is right here, negative 1, which is y-intercept. As you know that this exosymmetry is nothing more than just a mirror. Whatever you see on the left hand side, you see the same thing on the right hand side of this mirror. So if this is the point over here, so the mirror side, so this gonna be equidistance, so this is gonna become this point is gonna be on the other side of this one. So this is if this is a negative one, this point is going to be how much? This is going to be 2 comma negative 1, okay? So let's go ahead and simply uh, graph this one over here. Just plot the points. So that's going to be what? You just simply go ahead, keep doing like this thing. This goes on like this way. So you do like this one. So please bear with me. I'm not a good artist. So that's going to be how much? This is going to be like this one. And that is our graph. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for more exciting video lessons.